On the city's west side. A little more painting, and then uh, maybe a little blood splatter. Wouldn't be a zombie if there weren't any blood splatter. In this funky shop, the baking is hardcore, expressive, and a lot sweeter than some would ever expect. From slash cakes named after the guitar wizard of Guns N' Roses fame, to smash cakes, which are literally meant to be smashed while you eat them. They're good, they're tasty, but they're meant to be destroyed. Mmm, it's good. So the Veruca salt is like the coolest one. It's vanilla cake batter with four different salts mixed in. Oh, there's more inside. <laughs> Yum. Hi, my name is Michelle Garcia. I am the co-owner of Chicago's Bleeding Heart Bakery, local, sustainable, and punk rock bakery. Michelle and her husband Vinny opened Bleeding Heart back in 2004. These renegades set out to create a bakery with an attitude and a message. The punk rock culture started as a political movement. We have decided to take that and show it through our food. Michelle and Vinny have been buddies since the age of 12, a friendship that blossomed into true love and a shared philosophy on food. And while they love to break the rules, they do have one guiding principle. I won't sell it if I won't eat it. You know that everything is fresh and their ingredients are organic, which is important for your kids. It's one of our favorite places in the city of Chicago. At Bleeding Heart, being a whiz in the kitchen is only one piece of this baking puzzle. Hey, Vinny, hurry up. I'm the other half of Bleeding Heart Bakery. I get to do all the work that you don't see, like the carpentry, the building. From building to welding to art, Vinny is a jack of all trades. This is going to be a really cool cake. It started out as a drawing, which is a pinup zombie, kind of like supermodel, receiving an award. Once the cakes are baked, Vinny will start carving them and stacking them into the shape that he's trying to go for. See if we can get this to start looking like a woman. That does look more womanly than your normal women. You're not helping. Layering on the rich icing takes time, and so does the cooling process. Here we go, back to the other boring part of waiting for it to chill. Vinny rolls out and cuts sugar and water-based fondant to create a zombie's clothing and ghoulish skin. Yeah. There is no real method to doing this, so you kind of got to yeah. figure things out as you go along. A complicated design like this one can take hours to decorate. The deadline's approaching, and this zombie still needs work. This cake's going to get picked up in about 20 minutes, so... Definitely running out of time again. How long? A little bit. A little longer than I thought. All I have to do now is just put the strap on, make the head, make the sash, a little airbrushing, and we're done. Like, this obviously means something to somebody, but you always think to yourself, like, I hope whoever's getting this, like, gets it. Time's up, and even though Michelle likes to give Vinny a hard time, the customers don't. And yes, she gets it. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. That is amazing. I'm glad you like it. Enjoy it. You get to eat it. It's chocolate and chocolate. We just want to have fun with what we do. Like, <laughs> we do this because we love it. We want the people who come in to enjoy it as much as we enjoy it. Like its colorful Windy City owners, Michelle and Vinny, oh. Bleeding Heart Organic Bakery is one of a kind. And the number six pick on our countdown of the top ten most bodacious bakeries. Number five on the list brings us a hip little cookie cafe owned and operated by the enterprising Mercer sisters, Genji, a former lawyer, and ex-stock traders Heather Sue and Becca. So Four years ago, the sisters were loyal customers of the 